2015, Treyarch's 2015 version of Call of Duty. Whenever somebody brings up Call of Duty, whenever I talk about Call of Duty, either if it's Black Ops 2, Advanced Warfare, honestly, it really doesn't matter what game or what Call of Duty I'm talking about. The next Call of Duty is always in the back of my mind, and I know it's in the back of everybody's mind because we always want the next Call of Duty to come out sooner than uh, sooner than what it really does come out. Like I think it's going to be around November it comes out. Uh, every Call of Duty seems to land in the month of November, uh, but when the next year hits, say Advanced Warfare it came out in 2014. Whenever 2015 hits, we're already Not thinking about the next Call of Duty because Call of Duty is like a virus, and I want the next Call of Duty to succeed so much. I'm just thinking about this one a lot more than I have about previous Call of Duties because the last Call of Duty I purely enjoyed was Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Call of Duty Ghosts, everybody hated Call of Duty Ghosts. There's a select few who actually enjoyed the game. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, there's a few out there who love the game. There's some people out there who hate the game. And there's kind of people out there who have mixed reviews about the game. Uh, but personally, like I said, not a fan of Advanced Warfare. So when it comes to thinking about the next Call of Duty, I'm really, really amped up about it. And I really do not want to be let down three games in a row. I mean, it is Treyarch. I have a great history with Treyarch. There hasn't been a Call of Duty game made yet by Treyarch that I have not enjoyed. I mean, don't get me wrong, Treyarch games have had their flaws. I'm not going to be like, oh, Treyarch makes an absolutely perfect game. Treyarch all the way, 100%, make it exactly the same. That's something you can't do with Call of Duty. You can't copy and paste the game, but you also can't change it so much that it doesn't feel like Call of Duty. And that's kind of where Call of Duty Advanced Warfare lies. Yes, it has the Call of Duty title. But when they threw in the exosuits, it made it not feel like Call of Duty. I know what you guys are going to say. A lot of people say this. Everybody asks for Call of Duty change. And right when they make a change, everybody bitches. That's not the thing about Call of Duty. Like, Call of Duty is such a simplistic game that you can't make these huge changes. That's like playing FIFA or playing NFL or playing NHL. It's a game that's very repetitive because it has a base concept. You can't throw in, like, fucking jetpacks in FIFA and expect it to be, like, this super next-gen awesome uh, thing for FIFA. You can't do that, and that's what I feel like Call of Duty did. Like, I don't know. I like to compare Call of Duty to Gran Turismo. I like to compare Call of Duty to sports games. Like, you can't change it to the point where it completely changes the game. I know it's not a sports game. I know there is room to change. Call of Duty more than there is room to change sports games, but I feel like they changed it way too much, and that is something they shouldn't have done with Call of Duty, uh, but I don't know. That's just my personal opinion, and this is always when I think of the next Call of Duty is, how are they going to do the game? How are they going to fix sniping in Call of Duty or the next Call of Duty in 2015, which it all looks like we all know it's probably going to be Black Ops 3. If it's not, I will honestly be very, very surprised uh, but sniping, I mean, that's one of my main things I want to be fixed in the next Call of Duty because sniping has been damaged. The whole sniping system has been just absolutely terrible since Black Ops. I don't know if they need to maybe change it back to Black Ops sniping, do a whole delay when you zoom in. Maybe it'd be a good idea to run. Like, when you're running, you have to stop maybe for a second and it'll enable to zoom in your sniper. Uh, maybe they should imply something where you only can use a sniper if it is mounted on an object, such as the ground or on top of maybe a waist-high object. I don't know, but I really, really feel that sniping needs to be changed. Sniping is way too easy. And you can basically run around with a sniper now and use it as a shotgun. There's no such thing as gun battles between an SMG or an assault rifle player when it comes to them encountering a sniper. I mean, it really takes out of the fun of Call of Duty because gun battles are really what makes Call of Duty addicting. It's fun at getting the upper hand on somebody and you're down to your last inch of health, your last centimeter of health, and you take the guy out. When you go up against somebody who's sniping, you could put in three, four rounds into their chest and all they got to do is tap the left trigger, hit the right trigger, and boom, you're dead. I mean, it takes out the whole concept of getting on these one-on-one -on -one fights with sniping. So, I don't know. I feel like sniping in the next Call of Duty is going to be a make or break it for that game. I don't know. How do you guys feel? Do you think that they should apply a whole different sniping system? Uh, do you think they should take it back to Black Ops 1, Call of Duty World at War, and have sniping like that, make it difficult, make it tough to snipe? Or do you maybe think they should take out snipers in general, or only have snipers in a sniping-only playlist? I don't know, it's definitely going to be interesting to hear what you guys have to say, but it definitely is something that really, really needs to be fixed, and something that I think needs to be addressed a little bit more than what you think it should be addressed. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate it. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye.